The site of the 1954 British Empire Games and the Miracle Mile played host August 1st to the Queen's Baton Relay for the 2018 Commonwealth Games. The baton, which contains a message from Queen Elizabeth II, is on an epic worldwide journey to the April 4th, 2018 opening ceremony in Gold Coast, Australia. The visit to Vancouver and Victoria coincided with a Victoria-based bid committee hoping to bring the 2022 Games to British Columbia. Original host Durban, South Africa missed deadlines and was stripped in March. The Commonwealth Games Federation has to choose a new host this fall. The committee has not released a business plan for an event that could cost taxpayers a billion dollars or more. The Games have doubled in size since Victoria hosted in 1994. Neither the new NDP provincial government nor the federal Liberal government have decided to support the 2022 bid. Sport Minister Carla Qualtro told the breaker that the feds await a formal proposal. The, the timelines for 22 are quite cr cr crunched in terms of what uh, what the Commonwealth Games Federation is asking for. So, you know, it's interesting just talking with, with Hamilton, you know, there may be, there may be a, a longer term vision for hosting ca Commonwealth Games in this country in 2026 or 2030. 2030 is the 100th anniversary of Commonwealth Games, so, you know, bringing it back to Canada after 100 years. So, we're not sure how 2022 is going to play out, but of course, when a formal request is made, we'll look at it seriously because we love to host events. But, you know, we're very well aware of what Victoria Victoria has and doesn't have to offer and I think that that's got to be looked at seriously by the Victoria gang and then you know it's got to filter up to us but certainly those questions have to be asked and we have to look at any proposal with that kind of lens I mean you know this stuff is better than most people in terms of the scope and scale and how these things become expensive very quickly and the kind of um, expectations that an international federation games organization would have on any community so we got to be mindful of all that. And once they get their business plan together and get civic and provincial support then we got to come see you and yeah and then it comes to us and you know we have to factor in all the other things that are going on in sport and all the other um, requests that might come to the federal government in terms of hosting so you know there's talk of calgary 2026 and there's fifa 2026 and you know we have to look at where this all fits in in a broader kind of national agenda for sport hosting